Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to revisit Muslim convert stories. However, today with the video, Pesta tries to convert a Muslim lady and gets a shocking response. Coming from an Orthodox Christian background from the Balkans, I was not familiar with those evangelists that you see in America. Once I saw them on YouTube, I was quite shocked. Moreover, when I was traveling in Australia, I saw them as well on the street, shouting and screaming, Jesus is Lord! you will burn in hell so i'm already pretty biased when it comes down to evangelicals guys before we start the video as always if you enjoy the content leave me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out our new merch and now with no further ado let's have a look i, I studied islam islam's false i study christianity and it is false the today's video on those guys is all about an incident of a pastor who visits an islamic store and buys islamic clothing who does that? In this Generally, video, for what? Pastor Richard Lorenzo... You have to be extremely mentally ill to come to the conclusion, now I'm going to pretend I'm buying Muslim clothes and then I'm going to evangelize, tell them that their religion is wrong. Dummy. Junior, who what is, is the founder and senior pastor of the Remnant Revival Outreach Center, goes to an Islamic store to okay. buy Islamic clothes for himself as he plans on going to the mosque on Friday. Dressed up in complete Muslim attire, in order to blend in with the Muslims, with the intention to know oh. more about them and their beliefs. So we're officially in front. Yeah, that would be great if he would really go in with the intention to know more about them and their beliefs. We, of course, know that that is not true. He goes there undercover to evangelize. That's the whole point. He wants to spread his ideology, his theology. He does not go there to learn. In front of Saeed scarf, Islamic clothing. We're about to go in. I'm going to get me a, a Islamic um, outfit. To be able to fit in i believe there's going to be an encounter even in this islamic store i'm excited i love this man holy spirit have your way in jesus name what an absolute psychopath man this guy really believes he's led by the holy spirit to go to a little shop where a lady is working and now he's going to pretend to be a muslim harassing that lady about her religion the saeed nice. scarf Makes islamic sense. clothing store and goes inside he is oh. excited and is totally up for the experience that he might have in this store he is met with a very friendly and helpful Muslim lady, Samar. The lady Samar shows him around. She shows him the clothes that the Muslim men wear. He asks her regarding the reasons of wearing such dresses, to which she replies that in Islam, Muslims are supposed to be modest in their way of dressing, and these clothes are perfectly made to fulfill that purpose. Just to have like a modest clothes cover your body. Uh, I'm yes. modest. And why would he even be wondering about that? What is different about this lady here in comparison to a Christian nun, for example? Modest clothes. Modest clothes Hypocrisy. He questions her and asks if that is all in the Holy Quran, to which she replies that this is according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's, it's, it's in Sunnah, which is what sunnah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, teach us. She explained the meaning of the word sunnah you and that they are the teachings of the, the holy prophet already. peace be upon him his way of life and legal president that muslims are supposed to go according to sunnah which is the, the teaching of prophet muhammad how he teach the, the companion and the people how to practice islam the pastor then questions her that if the prophet muhammad peace be upon him was still alive to which she said no is he, is he alive or he... no he's not alive he's dead yeah she explains that Muslims believe in gotcha. all the prophets. Is Moses dead? Is Adam dead? Is Noah dead? Is not What's only your point? used for the Prophet Muhammad, wow. but for all the messengers of Allah. The pastor kept on questioning her more about the religion, Islam, and the beliefs of the Muslims. She elaborated that Muslims believe in all the messengers that have been sent by Allah and also in all the holy books that have been sent in this world. And that is the main difference because Christians do not truly believe in all the prophets before Jesus. They simply believe in Jesus and they say that the Old Testament is bad. In Let's be honest. Prophets. Let's we be honest. We are not a correct believers if we don't, uh, don't believe in messenger. I believe in right. all uh, books. I believe in Bible. Oh. I believe in uh, Torah. Okay, and I'm wow, not accurate Muslim version. if I don't believe in these books. She further explained that the Holy Quran is the final and complete message sent by Allah, whereas Bible has been altered and is not in its original form anymore. Right. The Holy Quran 
is for all times. Which is proven year. even by Western he scholars, came by to the way. shake hands with her, but the lady refused and said that it was not permissible in Islam for a man to touch a woman other than her husband, father, brother, or her son. Yes, we don't shake hands. Oh, sorry. Woman, no, sorry. Woman, woman, no. no. I'm no, married. I have no, two no kids. No problem. But, okay. But in Islam, no woman touchless. Nobody touch woman at wow. all. Only her husband, her dad, her brother, Beautiful. her son. That's it. The pastor finally chose some clothes for himself. He told the lady that he had plans of going to the mosque, for which he wanted to be in complete Muslim attire to show respect. Sure. She explained that it was not necessary to dress up like this completely to go to the mosque. But if he was doing it out of respect, then that was great. She explained this how Muslim shaitan, men man, and women were supposed to cover themselves while offering prayers, and how Muslim women were supposed to dress up when stepping out of their houses. Right before the pastor was about to leave, he told the lady that he wanted to ask more questions about her religion. He told her that he had been interviewing people from different religions. I, I interview pastors, I interview Buddhists, I interview... Witches, yes. warlocks, I, and I go everywhere to interview. He started off by asking her more about the Muslim's belief regarding Prophet Isa, peace be upon him. So my question for that, um, do you believe that Jesus was born of a virgin? Of course. Like he was born of a virgin? Of course, yeah. And he, if this is the miracle for Isa, alayhi salam. The lady was very firm and adamant on the teachings and beliefs of Islam. The pastor kept on questioning her regarding her beliefs. He continued and said that Prophet Isa was able to create a bird from mud and give him life. How would she justify by that the permission of in Allah. accordance to the teachings of Islam? He does not do it by himself. By his father? No, he does not have father. By God. By God. And by Allah, God's Allah. power. Allah made this miracle. Allah gave him power. Allah gave him this power to do it at that time. But he does not create people. No. He created a, a bird. He created, you know, just to give a miracle for did. people. She explained that Prophet he Isa get did it. not die. He doesn't understand us. Rather, he was saved by Allah, by being raised alive to heaven. Prophet Isa will come back in this world to fight the Antichrist, Dajjal. Then the pastor told the lady that he was into a lot of spiritual practices. He was once deeply involved in voodoo, and black magic. Mm. So I'm Puerto Rican, right? I come from a lot of um, uh, spiritual practices. So mm -hmm. I, I was I was deep into a lot of voodoo, santeria, and a lot Although of. Voodoo, it's kind of uh, uh, sehr, you yeah. know, like uh, like like demons, jinns, yes. jinns. Yes. So I was practicing a lot. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was I was deceived, <laughs> yes. right? He says that this was Seems the like time still when he brother. came to know who God was. He told the lady it was Jesus. The lady was in utter shock. And I got up and I just knew who God was. And, I, and God is Jesus. What? Jesus Christ <laughs> is God. She said that just because Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, is still alive. And here, even though the guy is absolutely obnoxious, I can sympathize with him because I come from an Orthodox Christian background, as I said in the beginning, and then I dived into psychedelics, the New Age, meditation, Buddhism, and what not. There, now looking back, I would have said that I was deceived. However, when I came to Christianity, I thought that now, finally, I stepped out of my deception. Finally, I left the satanic realm and I returned to God. However, if you keep an open mind, Mind, then you will see, of course, that Christianity is a deception in itself. You do not have to own up your own sins because Jesus Christ allegedly died for your sins. And moreover, I mentioned this previously, the Trinity was not confirmed by Jesus Christ, but by certain church fathers. It wasn't even everybody amongst those church fathers that agreed with the Trinity, that agreed that Jesus is God. If you look into the Ebionites, the early Christians, nobody ever said that Jesus is God. Jesus himself never said that he is God. But nowadays people that believe in that doctrine come to the conclusion that out of a sudden Jesus is God. Astaghfirullah. And this is the same thing that is happening to this man here. How does he now know that he's not deceived anymore? Does it mean that he is God? She said that the real reason he came there was to tell her this. All this time, he had been trying to manipulate her <laughs> and was just asking her questions regarding Prophet Isa. Always. So that in the end, it's a Jesus cult. His point. Yes. In the end, the pastor started questioning uh. the lady about the existence of Allah, whether he was a spirit or a person 
that whether she could hear <sighs> his voice oh, or God. speak to him. Claro. Do you speak to uh, uh, Allah? Do you hear his of voice? Cor- no, 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 no. We are human. We are human. We are not more than human. We have, you know... Let- Even your Bible says that the essence of God is unknowable. And moreover, it says as well that the voice of God is a voiceless voice, which basically means that we cannot listen to God. Limited the Bible says it itself. For everything Ridiculous. Because we are created from God. He loves you. The pastor said he loves you. that he had studied Jesus loves Islam, you. and it is a false religion. Studied. It's up to you. I, I've studied Islam. Islam's false. I study Christianity, and it is false. Nah, Islam. Islam is very false. No, they, no, they, no. they took from yeah. the Torah. They took from the Bible. No, no, no. It sucks. I feel bad for for a lot of people because they're deceived. Okay. <laughs> I want to preach the truth to people. I want people to know the, about the love of God. To this, mm. the lady replied, "Thank you. That Christianity thanks, no, thanks. is false, whereas Islam." is one million percent the accurate and correct religion. I know and I believe a hundred percent, million percent, that Islam is the accurate you and don't. the correct. It's up to you. Then he started cursing the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and started course, speaking ill about him and said that They're shaitans, man, as I said, absolute yeah, demons. I, 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 they just came there to upset the lady. This conversation with you since you don't respect my religion or my prophet. I respect you, exactly. no, but you not the religion. My religion, my prophet, much better and more important for me. Mm. When you curse my my, my prophet, that means you cursing. She said that she doesn't need to hear from Allah or get to see miracles because the Holy Quran is the biggest miracle of all. I don't need to see miracles. I have Quran in my hand. This mm. is my miracle now. Throughout this time, Samar stood strong for her religion, Islam, and confidently provided her responses to the questions put forward by the pastor. Her responses portrayed that she was so sure of her religion and extremely steadfast in her faith and beliefs. Even though the pastor tried his utmost to convince her, and enforce his religious beliefs upon the lady, but all his efforts were it, unsuccessful, and he was not able to make good, even mashallah. a tiny bit of difference in her faith and religious beliefs. This encounter raises profound ethical questions regarding interfaith interactions. It forces us to examine the boundaries of religious freedom, respect, and responsibilities of religious leaders. Manipulation erodes the foundation of trust, and mutual understanding, which is necessary for peaceful coexistence among different religious groups. All right, this is it for today's video. MashaAllah, the lady stood her ground. The pastor, on the other hand, as expected from the get-go, was an absolutely mentally ill person. I really see that quite often within Christian evangelicals, that they are mentally ill and they take their mental illness into their religion. This is most definitely not what Christianity is about. I have to give them credit where credit is due. Coming from an Orthodox Christian perspective, I never saw an Orthodox priest evangelize like this this what is the purpose behind this what is the reason behind this i say he is a shaitan absolutely repulsive behavior you go into a little mom and dad shop basically to use american terms here you're speaking to a lady and you're harassing her insulting her religion insulting the prophet and moreover sneaky as you are like a little snake you go into that shop under a false pretense i just want to buy islamic clothing out of respect i want to go to the mosque out of respect you are disgusting disgusting. You're a vile, vile creature. You know exactly that you can seek open dialogue with Muslims. Why do you have to go in there, harass this lady? You studied Islam. You don't even know that you shouldn't shake a woman's hand. What kind of study have you done? You studied on YouTube. You watch certain Islamophobes. They all come with the same nonsense. But guess what? Islam doesn't need you. You've been deceived with voodoo, with black magic, wizardry and whatnot. And now you're being deceived yet again you believe that a human is god even though that human may peace be upon him never mentioned it that human always pointed towards god worshiped god alone was not all knowing but you do not see those things and you know what who cares go on and suffer all right guys this is it for today's video if you liked it leave the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel by patreon or by getting our merch all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support guys and as always may god bless you all much love and peace